Shopify made it insanely easy to sell worldwide with a feature called Shopify Markets. And most Shopify store owners even don't know about this feature or they don't know how powerful it is. With this feature, you can literally customize everything, the prices, the currency, the language for each country. And here is the fun part, without creating multiple stores. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to manage Shopify markets. I will show you first how you can create regional markets like Europe, for example, then how to build country-specific sub-markets like France and Germany, for example, and how to customize each region, taxes, prices, currency, language, domain, even store layout, so your store feels and looks 100% local. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how you can set up your Shopify store so you can sell worldwide. So let's move to Shopify and let me show you how to use and set up Shopify markets. From your Shopify dashboard, you go in here to the left to markets and you will have your first market set up and it is your primary market. So in my case, it's the United States. And basically this is the same market where you have registered the business and the store. When you click on it in here, you will see all the information related to this market. So we have the name, we have what countries it includes, and we have in here more information about this specific market. And on the left, we have also more information. We are going to go over all of this when we create our first market. So going back in here to markets, I will click on create a market. And this time I will create the European market. I don't want to include all the European countries in here. I will just include three. So let's go, for example, with France, Italy, and maybe Germany. So now I have this market with these three countries. The first thing that I need to adjust is the currency. And when you click in here on plus, you can select this region currency. In our case, it should be euros. Since I don't have Shopify payments installed, I can do that. But once you install Shopify payments, you will be easily able to change the currency from here. Then you have the catalog, and actually this is a very nice feature. It allows you to decide which products you want to sell in this market. So let's say, for example, you have 10 products and you want only to sell three of them within Europe. You can do this by selecting a specific catalog to Europe. You can even change the prices and everything else. Let me show you how to do that. I will click on save first. Don't worry about this, we're gonna go over it. Then you click here on plus and you click on create catalog. By default, it's called Europe and it's linked to the right market. And in here you have the information. You need to change the prices from here and change it to euros. Again, I don't have Shopify payments, so I can do this, but it's also a simple click. The second option in here, it allows you actually to decide if you want to change the prices in this region. So let's say, for example, I want all my products in Europe to be 5% uh, more expensive than in the USA. All I need to do is to do the increase or decrease from here. So you choose increase or decrease and you precise the amount and that's it. And then here you can see all the products included in this catalog and by default all the products are there. Let's click save. Once you do that, you will be able to decide which products to include and which products to exclude from this catalog by using this simple checkbox in here. So you can exclude it from catalog or keep it in the catalog. I will remove this one because I don't want to include all new products automatically in this catalog. And let's say I want to exclude these two bundles. So I will click on exclude products. And you can always check in here the excluded products. So if you want to change your mind and put them back, you can do that. And in here, once you do that, you can start changing the prices within this region. So if you want not to go with the default decrease or increase, and you want to change the prices for each product or each variant uh, manually, okay, not like a percentage, you can do this from here as well. Again, if you have changed the currency to Euro, you will see in here Euro once you have Shopify payments installed. Once you finish, that's it. You have your catalog set up. Let's go back to markets now and to the Europe market. And after choosing the catalog, we have in here the online store. So which online store they are seeing? This is our current theme. We will talk later about theme customization. This is actually something very important because it allows you to have different layout from a country to another. This is a topic that we will be discussing in details later. Then you have the domain and language. So in here you choose the domain, which domain you want to use and the language. 
Well, for this, we need to go to the Shopify settings and we will do that in a few seconds. Then we have the taxes and this is where you decide how you want to handle taxes within this market. We are going to tackle these two things now within the Shopify settings. In order to be able to add domains, you need in here to go to settings and languages and you need in here to go to languages. So by default, I have two published language. I have English and French. And I have used this very nice app from Shopify. It's a free app actually, that allows you to do two languages for free. So you have your original language, which let's say English, and you can have two translated, fully translated languages, and you can modify them and edit them. So I have English and French. Let's say, for example, I want to add Arabic. I will click on add language. I will choose the language and click on next. Then they will ask me where I want to publish it. I will not publish it now. I will click on done. So now I have this uh, language set up in here. All I need to do is to click on translate and choose the app that does the translation. You choose it from here and it will take you to the app. This is a very nice app. It's for free and you can do the translation in here. You can do up to two for free and you click on auto translate. Once you do that, it will take some time, but you will have all your store content translated to this language. So let me go back one second in here to the settings and to the languages. To show you, for example, for France, if you click on the three dots, you can choose to unpublish, preview, or assign to a domain. Or you can choose to go to uh, translate and adapt and modify if you want this translation. So by default, you will see in here everything on your store. So you have collections, products, blog posts, whatever you want is in here, even your theme, uh, sections, the front end of your store, everything can be customized from here in terms of languages. So let me go, for example, to products. And as you can see, I will see in here all my products listed and I will see everything that's in English and the translation in French. And I can modify everything in here. So if I don't like this, I can go and change it. Uh, if something is missing, I can click on auto translate to translate it in order to make sure that everything is now available in France. So this is for products and it applies to everything else. So if you want to go to your pages, to the theme pages, to the settings, everything can be translated from here and it's a free app. Okay. So once you have this language set up, you can now assign it to this market or to any other region that you want. But in our case, we are selling in France, in Italy, and in Germany. So we can't have French for all of these countries. We need to have a specific language for each country. So we need to do this, and we can do this by doing sub markets. And I will show you how to do that in a few seconds. Once you have your language set up, you can choose it at the market level. Once we finish with this, there is one more thing that I need to talk about and it's related to your domains. When you change languages, you need to create subdomains because the URL of the store is going to change when the language changes. And you do that in here at this level. Actually, when you set up a language, Shopify will ask you to create a subdomain. So as you can see in here, when you go to the markets, if we go to Europe, for example, and we click here on the language, it's asking us new subdomain, a subfolder for this one. So you choose this one and you add the language, let's say French. And as you can see in here, it has like an, a small, a different extension, it's FR and this one it's English. And you just click on done and that's it. The second thing that you need to do is taxes and the duties. And this is actually super important, especially if you are selling worldwide to manage taxes. So you click here on plus and as you can see, you can choose whether you want to collect taxes in here or not. So if, for example, your business is located in Europe and you want to collect taxes all across Europe, you need in here to choose to be able to collect taxes. We're going to go over this in seconds. But let's say if you are in Europe, but you don't want to collect taxes in the USA for the USA market, you can keep it as not collecting taxes. So in order to access taxes, you can either click here on the plus and click on the edit uh, option to go to taxes or you go in here from settings and there is the taxes in here option which is under this part and in here you need to start defining your tax region so let's say i'm going to choose europe once i do that i need to start setting up the information in here so the first thing i need to set up is the vat number you need to choose the country where your business is registered and set up your uh, your vat number 
So you set up the byte number in here. Once you do that, only once you do that, you can start collecting taxes. And then in here, you can choose to collect VAT across uh, borders. So you can also, you also need to put the information in here. By the way, I have a video on this YouTube channel where I talk about AU taxes in details if you want to check it out. And that's it basically. You need to do this to every region where you are selling. So everything related to taxes, you should double check with a tax expert. But basically you have the basic setup within Shopify and it's more than enough to get you to collect taxes. I highly recommend you to go over this and make sure that you have the right setup. Once you have your taxes set up, the next thing that we need to discuss is the shipping uh, rates. In order to be able to sell in a region, you should have shipping rates available for this region. If you don't have your shipping rates set up for this region, you can't sell in there. And this is where in here, they are telling us that customers in two regions won't be able to check out because of missing shipping rates. So you need to set up the shipping rates. In order to set up the shipping rates, you go back again to settings, and in here you go to shipping and delivery. And in here, you need to set up the shipping for all of these countries where you want to sell. So as you can see by default, I have only France set up. When I click in here, I can see the shipping rates for France. If I want to add other countries and I must do that in order to be selling on these countries, in these countries, I need to click here on add shipping zone and I start adding my zone. So in our case, we add Germany, we add Italy and we add the, the rates for them. So I'm going to go over this quickly, but if you want to know more about how to set up a shipping rate, there is also a video on this YouTube channel where I talk about this in details. I will link to all of these videos in the description so you don't get lost. Once you have this set up, you will see that we don't have this problem anymore because we have the shipping rates of this region. You have also in here some things related to the customer privacy because this is changes a lot from a region to another. You can also go over this and you have in here the compare at price, how you want to show it. So this is basically related to the region, which is Europe, and we have changed everything related to the settings. But I told you that let's say for France, I want to have a different language than Italy, which makes so much sense. So I want to treat France in a different way than Italy, although that Italy and France are on the same market, on the same region. So what I'm going to do is to go back to market, and I will actually create a new market. I will call it France. I will add France in here. And once I do that, it's gonna be default, by default removed from the Europe, uh, uh, from the Europe market. And I will click on save. Once I do that, you will see that Shopify by default understood that this market is a part of the Europe market. And in here, I can modify everything related to this market now at the France level. Let's do this one more time with Italy. So I'm going to create market and let's do Italy. I will save. And now when I go back to the graph view, you will see that I have Europe, I have United States, and within Europe, I have France and Italy. For sure, I need to set up the other countries, but I'm just showing you an example. This graph is actually very nice because it gives you an idea about how your markets are organized. Let's now go back to the list view and let's talk about something super important, and it is how to modify your store layout per region or per country even. I must mention first that this feature will be available depending on which Shopify plan you are on. But also it depends also on how long you have been on Shopify because Shopify plans changed a lot during the last years. So some plans have been upgraded, some plans have been downgraded. So it's really tricky to know if you have it or not, but you should have it if you have the advanced uh, plan or the grow plan. So I think that's their names. If you go in here to online store, and you go to themes and you click on customize. In order to know if you have this within your plan, you should be able to see this option in here. So to choose where you are changing the region. So as you can see in here, I have access to the region. I can see where I'm changing. If you don't have this option in here, it means that your plan doesn't cover this option. So you need to upgrade in order to have this option.
And as you can see, I have all my markets in here. So this means that I can modify my store and customize it per country and per region. When you are changing in the store default, everything that you are doing is going to apply to all markets, but for sure the language is going to be translated. But once you start customizing within markets, the work would be local and only in this market in this country, they are going to see this modification. So let's click for example on friends and click on customize. And you can basically customize everything, like the layout, what you want to show, what you want to hide, everything. So let's say, for example, I want to hide this full slideshow in France. As you can see, once I, once I do that, I will see this green small button in here. And this is actually telling me that this section has been modified in a specific region, in this region. So it's not within the default store layout. Let's say now, instead of doing this, of hiding the full section, I will just go in here and let's say change the image. You will see as well that once I do that, I have this green diamond customized for this market. So basically you can go over all of your store layout, all of your store setup and change it per country and per region. Let's say you want to have a photo in France showing the French flags and a photo in Italy showing the Italian flags. You can have a totally different image from one store to another, from one country to another using this feature. And once you finish, all you need to do is to click on save. And this goes for any page, for your homepage, for your products, everything on your store. I will click on save because once I finish doing this, I will show you how this is going to be reflected within your markets. So when you go now to markets and you go to the graph view, and you click on friends, you will see that we have in here the home page. So this is telling us that the home page for this region is different than the home page for other regions and so on. Whenever you change, you will see the list in here. Also, when you go to friends in here, you will see that if you click in here, you can see what customization has been made at this market level. You can also access the customization from the market itself. So you go to Italy, let's say, for example, and here you go to online store and you click on a theme customization. When you do that, by default, you will be redirected in here. You Italy will be chosen as like the place where we are changing the store and you can start modifying in here. Whatever you are modifying in here is going to be reflected in market. So you keep track of what are the things that you have changed. I don't think selling worldwide has been easier than now with Shopify or with any other platform. So if you are still selling locally only, I think this is your sign to expand worldwide using this amazing feature from Shopify. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I will be linking to all the videos I have mentioned within this video in the description below. So don't forget to check them out. See you there and happy learning.